Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make three back to school icons in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, now first we're going to start a new document. So I'll come over here to create new. I'll go to the top to print, and then I'll choose letter. Then we'll create. Now the three back to school icons I'm going to create are a pencil, a couple of books with an apple on it, and then like a blackboard. Okay, so let's start off with the pencil. I'll hit M on my keyboard to get to my rectangle tool. And I'm just going to draw a thin rectangle right here on the artboard. I've got a white fill and a black outline. And I don't really want a black outline, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'll come over here to the white fill, and I'm just going to grab yellow, a kind of yellowy orange here. Now, if you don't have Color Up or any of these other palettes, you can get to those by going to Window and then they're all right under here. Here's Color. Okay, maybe I'll go with a little orangey, more orangey color. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to hit Z to zoom in and we'll work with this a little more closely. Now I'll get back on my Selection Tool. And first, before we try this, I want you to go to View and snap to point. Make sure this is checked. When we grab this rectangle and drag, we'll hold Shift and Option or Alt on a PC. And you can see when I get close to that point with my point, it'll change my cursor to white. And then we can just let off. Okay, and I want this to be a little more, maybe a little darker. So I'm going to double click on my color and I'm going to just choose something over here. We'll say, okay. Okay. So now we have the pencil part itself. Now I want to make the lead part. So to do that, I'm going to select both of these, copy, and then paste in front with Command F or Control F on a PC. By the way, copy is Control C and Command C. Okay, so we have two pieces that are right on top of another two pieces. Now I'm going to grab this handle and just click and drag it down here like this. Okay, now I want to change these colors to kind of a light tan. That'll be the wooden part of the pencil near the lead. Okay, so I'm going to double click here and I'm going to choose maybe a more yellowish color. We'll move this slider up towards yellow. And yes, that one looks good. And we'll say, okay. As you know, pencils are usually pointed, so we're going to get to that right now. I'm going to hit A on my keyboard to get to my direct selection tool. And then I'm going to draw a box around the bottom part of our rectangles. You'll see that these points here are blue. That means they're selected and these are white. They're not selected. So I'm going to make these into a point by coming up here to object, path, and average. And here we can say, I want these points to meet in the middle kind of, or along a vertical plane or a horizontal plane. We want these to be on both. So we'll say, okay. And as you can see, it's just shoved them all together into one point. There's actually two points here. Um, you can see that if you pull one out. Let's go ahead and select these two pieces and then hit Shift M on our keyboard to get to the Shape Builder tool. And we can just drag across both and it'll make them into one piece. Pretty great. Now, these yellows are a little too close together. So I'm going to highlight these with my selection tool, and then I'll come up here to the recolor artwork tool. And this will show those two colors, and then I'm going to go to edit. Now, I'm gonna just move these around to a more orange area, and we'll increase the saturation a little bit. Okay, and that looks pretty good. That's quite a bit different now. We'll say, okay. All right, now I want this part to have kind of a zigzag right up here at the top. So to do that, I'm going to zoom in with Z on my keyboard, draw a box around that part, and then I'm going to add some anchor points in here. So to do that, I'll hit Object, Path, Add Anchor Points. So that put one right in the middle, but I want one here and one here. So we'll just do that again. Object, Path, Add Anchor Points. Okay. So we've got the, this one and this one, which are the two that I want to select now. So I'm going to click off, 
Then use my A tool or direct selection to click right on that point. And your cursor will kind of show you where it is if you don't have it selected. Let's hold shift and click that other point. And now I'm going to click and drag these like this. Okay, and this is the part where the pencil color meets the wood after you've sharpened it. Okay, now we're going to need a little point on here. So to do that, I'm going to hit M on my keyboard and draw a little rectangle just right across there like that. Then I'm going to hit D on my keyboard, which will give me a white fill and a black outline. And then I'll switch those with this little arrows key right here. Then I'll click on the white and get rid of it with the none right down here. We'll get back on this one. Okay, now this is going to be the lead. So I'm going to select this and hold shift and select the wood part. And now we can just use our shape builder to delete the extra part. So I'll hit, I'll hit shift M. That'll bring me to the shape builder right over here. And we only want that. So I'm going to hold option to delete this part. I'll just click. And now we have our pointed lead area. Okay. Now for the silver part, I'm going to hit M and I'm going to draw another rectangle right up here. Try to get it exactly right. And then I'll double click the black and I'll choose a gray over here. We'll say, okay. All right. And now I am going to copy and paste in front. So that's command C, control C on a PC, and then command F, control F on a PC. And so we have a gray piece right on top of another gray piece. Now I'm going to get on the edge of this and just pull up like this. And then I'll come over here and choose a pinkish color for the eraser. Now I want this to be rounded, but I don't want these two corners down here to be rounded. So to do this, I'll hit a on my keyboard and I'll select just these two points up here. And then I have these little white nodes. I can just click and drag those in to round this. Now we'll select everything and group it with Command G or Control G on a PC. And that just means we can move it around and you won't be accidentally moving separate pieces. So to finish this off, let's select it all, get on a corner like this and hold shift and we'll put it at a 45 degree angle. And now we have a super cute little pencil. Now the next thing I want to create is a couple books with an apple on top. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard and draw two books. Let's make this book red. Let's make it more red. Mm, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, maybe. Okay, bright red. I'm going to click right on this corner and drag while holding shift and option. And then when I get close to this, it'll snap right to that corner and I'll release. Now I think I want to make this one green. Okay, so we have our two books. I'm going to select both of them and just move them down a little bit so they don't interfere with the pencil. I want the side of the book to be kind of rounded on each side. So I'm going to select this corner point and then hold shift and select that one. And then I'll also hold shift and select this one, hold shift and select that one. And now we can round these like this at the same time. Okay, so this is the back part of our book. Now I'm going to change the color I'm working with to a, maybe a yellow color, kind of whitish, like this one up here, maybe more towards the gray side. And we'll say, okay, now I'll hit M on my keyboard and get my rectangle tool and draw the pages in here. I'm going to bring it all the way out just a little bit in from the edge of the red. Okay. And I want to do the same over here. So I'll option drag this right here. Now I'm going to try to round this in the same way that the red and the green edges are. So I'm going to hit a on my keyboard to bring me to the direct selection tool. I'll click right on that corner point, hold shift and click the other one, 
keeping shift held down, I'm going to click these two points also. And then we've got our corner nodes that are white with a blue circle inside. I'm going to click on that and just drag these in like this. All right, that is looking very good. Now I'm going to start dragging this and hold shift and option. I'm going to come right almost to the edge. So now I've got a copy over here and I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'll start dragging and then I'll hold shift and option until I'm right about here. because so I want my pages to curve inward like this. Okay, so now I'm back on my selection tool. I'm going to select this piece, hold shift and select this one. I'm also going to select that red. So I've got all three things selected and now I'm going to hit shift M to get on my shape builder and I'll hold option and just drag it across these in here. So now we have a perfect little book. I'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to select all three of these. I'll hit shift M on my keyboard, which will bring me to the shape builder tool and I'll hold option and just drag right across here. Okay. So those are our two books. Now all we need to do is create an apple to put on top. So I'm going to hit N on my keyboard and that is the pencil tool. I'm going to double click this and make sure it's all the way to the smoothest possible setting and we'll say, okay. All right. And then I'll just click and I'll draw part of an apple right here. So this is going to be the left side of the apple. And it's not a closed shape, but that's okay. I'm going to use the same red of the book. Um, and to do that, I'll hit I on my keyboard and I'll just click on the red. I'll click on the red again. <laughs> Sometimes you don't get right on it when you're trying to. Now I want to join those two pieces. And to do that, I can just hit command J for join or control J on a PC. So now when we hit command Y or control Y, we can see that it's a completely closed shape. Let's hit command Y or control Y to get back. I'll click on the apple and then I'll copy and paste in front. That's command F or control F on a PC. And then I'll hit O. O will bring us to the reflect tool and this will cause that piece of the apple to turn the other way. So what I'm going to do is set my anchor point right here. And to do that, I have to option click there. Right now you can see the blue anchor point here. I'll option click where I want them to reflect. And this will bring up this box. We want a vertical reflect. You can see what's going to happen and we'll preview that. So this is pretty perfect. We'll say, okay, now I'm going to hit V and then click off. And you can see if I zoom in with my Z tool, you can see a little place where they didn't quite overlap. Right. So I'm going to hit V select that piece, hold shift and just bring it over a little bit. Now I'll select both pieces, hit shift M, which is our shape builder and just drag across both of them. I'm going to command minus to zoom out. All right. I think I'll make this gray in here a little bit darker so you can see it easier. No, oh, maybe not that dark. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So we want our apple right there on the book and now we need a little stem and a leaf. So I'm going to zoom into the apple. I'll hit in on my keyboard and I'm just going to draw a little stem right here. And I'll click on one of those points and move it a little bit. Let's double click on our color and change it to something else like brown. Okay. You definitely want to have this a little thicker. We'll make it just a little bit thicker. Okay. And you can click on it and hit command J to make sure it's a closed shape. Generally speaking, when you're an illustrator, you want to work with closed shapes all the time. Okay. Now let's make the leaf. I'm going to hit in on my keyboard and just draw a leaf out here like this. And because I have this set so smooth, it actually smoothed up where they come together, but that's okay. I think it looks nice. I'm going to come over here and grab a green 
and then I'll get on my selection tool and pull it down here. Maybe I'll rotate it a little bit like that. I'm going to command minus to zoom out and now we're good to go with the books. All right, now the third thing I'm going to create is the easiest one yet, and this is just a blackboard. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard to get a box, and I'll click and drag. I want the black to be the fill, so I'm going to hit Shift X, which is the same as hitting these two little arrows. It just switches them. Okay, so we have a black blackboard, and now I'm going to hit X to bring the stroke to the front, and I'm going to increase that. Then with the stroke in front, I'm going to hit I on my keyboard and then hold shift and click on the yellow here. Okay, so we've got a yellow that matches our other yellow and then a black chalkboard. All right, let's hit P. P is the pen tool. It's right over here. And now I'm going to just click and then click again and this will make a little line. Now this line actually has a fill on it. You can't see it because it's exactly behind there, but that's not something we want. I want to get the fill in front and then get rid of it with none. Okay. Now I'll hit V to get back on my selection tool and I'll just click this and move it up. Now I'll copy and paste in front and then I'll hit O to get to my reflect tool. I'll option click right near the middle and this makes a copy that's reflected on the opposite side. So we'll say, okay. Okay. Now this is looking really good. Let's select all of these and round the corners. So we'll come over here to the stroke palette. We'll go to the cap and choose the middle one and then the corner and choose the middle one. So you can see it has a much nicer edge on it now. Now let's hit T on our keyboard, which will bring us to the text tool. I'll click once here and then I'll type ABC. Now this is black and it's on black, so you can't see it. So let's change this to white. I'm going to hit command A or control A on a PC um, to select all my text. And then we'll come up here to the color and choose white. Okay. Now let's grab a handle and hold shift and make it a lot bigger. And this font is a little boring. I almost want it to be a little more rounded because that would match our style a little better. So I'm going to go with Arial Rounded. There we go. I'll get back on a corner, hold shift and bring it in a little bit and then use my arrows and shift arrows to position it in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to select all of this one and group that with command G, control G on a PC. And I'll select all of this one and group that command G control G on a PC. And now we've got our super cute icon set for back to school. Okay. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. And you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.